Yeah. Woo, you look amazing. Hello, sister. You look good. Too. You too. <laughs> Hello, everybody. You are welcome to a peep into Pastor E.A. Adeboye's life. You? Yes, so it's been two wonderful days of this wonderful program. And we're welcoming you to another exciting one. Today is going to be even better. So if you've not joined us this past two days, make sure you stay glued to your TV yes. this afternoon. God right. bless you. God bless you. You're welcome. All right, once again, you are welcome. And we know that today is going to be so excellent. Um, a peep into Pastor E. Adeboye's life is just showcasing the glory of God to um, a man that we truly admire, a great man of God, and of course, our own Elijah, Elijah, Moses in our own generation, just to celebrate 80 good years that the Lord has been so faithful to our Father and the Lord. So it's a special program here on Dove Television. And if you're yet to drop your comments, please go to all our social media platforms on Facebook at Dove Television, tweet at Dove TV, and of course on Instagram at Dove TV. We are live right now, so click on all the share buttons and just share to everyone so they can know fact about that geo. Okay, so. Sabrina. Yes. There's an exciting thing on TV today. Really? So Dove TV reached out to some children and asked them what they would like to say about our father in the Lord, Pastor wow. E.R. Deboe. So on your screen right now, you're going to be seeing some wonderful children from across the globe. Yeah. And they'll be talking about our father in the Lord after this short break. All right, stay tuned. I am six years old. Do you know that Daddy Joe has played with Sam when he was young, like me? Parents should allow their children to play with Sam because playing with Sam is fun and educative. I love you, Daddy Joe. Happy birthday to you, Grandpa. Let somebody shout hallelujah! I love Daddy Gio because he's a great leader and a powerful man of God. He loves to look after children. Thank you for being an amazing pastor. Love from Omelewa. I love Grandpa Gio. He's, he loves children. He loves God. And I wish you have a happy birthday to Daddy Gio. And God bless you. Daddy Gio is a pastor. He is a man that loves holiness. Daddy Gio pursues the word of God and prays. Daddy Gio loves children. Daddy Gio, I love you. I wish you happy birthday. God bless you, sir. Hi, everyone. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about Daddy Gio. He is... I'd like to call him Daddy... Grandpa Gio, he likes to give us prayer points, and he is a pastor, and he is the son of God. He likes to read Bible stories, he likes to pray with us, and he also likes to say, Hallelujah! My name is Godwin Jeffers Hoyle. I am five years old. What I like about Daddy Gio is Daddy Gio is a humble man. Daddy Gio is a good leader. And a, Daddy Gio is a mentor and a good father. I love Daddy Gio. Happy birthday. Thank you. And I want to tell you what I like about Daddy Gio. Daddy Gio likes to pray for us. And when he's free, he used to say, Let somebody shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Happy birthday, Daddy Gio. God bless you, sir. to bless. 
bless you. You will not miss it. Daddy, God bless you. God be continue to give you muscles in so, Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Beep, beep, beep. Mm -hmm. Scripture is fulfilled. Scripture yeah. says that out of the mouths of, of babes, babes and, and sucklings, praise is ordained. Do you see those yeah. beautiful things that those children talked yeah. about? You know, I, at, at the time I was just looking at it. You know the first video that says, do you know Daddy G also oh, played, played with, with sand? sand? Oh my like, that's God. That's so true. That's so but true. another thing, Sabrina, this is our generation. You must send your children to better school. You just said this, Yana. See the accent. <laughs> <laughs> when we're small, when we're that age, we know how we used to talk. Shebi and Abi <laughs> used to fool our statements anyhow. But well, thank God for these children. Yeah. Wonderful children. Yeah. Wonderful children. Yes, and thank God for their parents too for um, sending those videos. Quite hilarious and very um, emotional to me. You know, at the young age, you will understand that they are talking from the place of truth. Mm -hmm. You know, it's another thing to say, oh, this, that, but they, they are seeing him as their mentor at their early age. They're yeah, seeing one of them mentioned that he's a mentor. Yes. I was like, oh my A, a mentor, a, a pastor, their dad, grandpa, Gio. Grandpa Gio. <laughs> <laughs> you know, grandpa Gio and all of that. And I'm sure that he's smiling right now because we know that, he, that you're watching. And once again, from all of us, this special program is dedicated to you. Even as you turn 80, we know that this is the least we can do for you, but we just grasp all of this for just to celebrate you. And of course, Shayo, you also want to say daddy, happy birthday. Daddy, happy birthday from me to you. You are an amazing man. Yeah. There's too much to say about you, mm -hmm. but we know that the God that you're serving and understands your labor of love will reward you greatly. Yeah. And that's to people out there too. What will people say about you when you reach a certain age? So you need to put in the work. You need to serve God faithfully. Yeah. God does not hold any man. Absolutely. You, he will reward you according to your works. That's why the scripture says, if you sow spirally, you will reap spirally. If you sow bountifully, bountifully. you shall receive yes. bountifully. Our Father has sowed bountifully, and that is why for all of you doing, mm, what is there to celebrate? You are not knowing anything because mm. you have not yet seen anything. From Monday, the marathon, Messiah's praise is here. Tell them. And we are celebrating our Father for 80 good hours. So get your dancing shoes ready. If you can find your way down to Redemption Camp, please do that on Monday. All right, so back to our fact for today. Chayo, where do we start from? Fact 30. I have to remind them again anyways that you should get your writing materials. You should get your pen. You should get your writing pad. And don't forget to call your friend right now. So if your friend is at work, if your friend is somewhere else, just call them and say, tune into Dove TV right now. Mm -hmm. We have something exciting for you. Mm -hmm. So yes, fact 21. Amazing. Daddy Gio attended Stevens Anglican Primary School, Ifewara. Wow. All the alumni, I hope you are there cheering your father, the Lord, your alum. <laughs> this is quite interesting to know. That's Stevens, Stevens, Stevens Anglican, Anglican Primary, Primary School, School. Ifewara in Osho State, Nigeria. So some people would think that Daddy G attended, you know, Montessori School, mm. you know, <laughs> or those fancy school like those children. Yes. Oh, Daddy G, Daddy attended. The Stevens Anglican Primary School, Fairway in Ocean State in Nigeria. Did we talk about our primary schools the other time? Do you want day? me to call my primary school? Yeah, I call your primary school. Okay, you want to know my primary school? Yes. Are you ready for this? Yes. Please, they did not pay me to, to, do, <laughs> to do free to adverts. Do free adverts for but them. you're an alumnus now. You should be able to talk about your primary school. Yes, but I attended a very good primary school. From the way I speak, you should know. <laughs> okay. What primary school? But anyway, don't sell their market. Let me sell the market. You, you, you will pay Let for advert. They are paying, and I'm, I'm serious from, on this one. I'm proud of my <laughs> primary school. I attended Omolewa Nursery and Primary School wow. in Ibado. It's, it's a very old school. Omolewa was, was established in 1960. Wow. Yes, and it's still standing strong. Wow, that's good. All right, all the Omolewa's people, we can see that you are Lewa Lewa. All right. <laughs> Amazing one. 
Fact number two. Pastor Adeboye was an Anglican before joining the Redeemed Christian Church of God. That is very, very interesting. Was yes. an Anglican. Look at the transition from the Anglican. It's enlightening. Mm. Now shows why that Joe loves those hymns. You know, <laughs> because we know Anglicans do a lot of hymns. Many of those hymns were written from Anglican, Anglican descent. So we can, we can like tie it together and wow. see why he loves to sing hymns to God. Yeah, and Daddy Gio is such a great composer of hymns. Yes. I don't know where he gets all that from, but of course we know where he we gets know it the from. inspiration. My daddy say, my daddy is such giving. Such a powerful oh, statement, such a powerful statement. I heard, uh, so let's digress into this. So I heard of, uh, 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 if, you, if you literally watch the, the old messages of Daddy Gio. If you're yet to do that, go to all, all, all our social media platforms, on YouTube ex especially, because we have those old messages, old sermons of Daddy Gio. He made mention of something. He said, people will say, I am a servant of God. Okay, yes, you are a servant of God. But do you know some people have just sat down with that servant of God. They've not, you know, gone ahead of being a child of God, a friend of God, a child of God, that he is a child of God. So every time they say, my father says, just know, Indeed, is my father. So since that day, I don't say I am a child of God. You know the song that says, I am a friend of God. I've changed it to, I am a child That's of God. That's what I think ah, too. He calls I, me son. Ah, yes, he has called us into sonship. Yeah. He says as many as believed on him. Him. Mm. He gave power to become the sons, to become of, God. sons of God. How beautiful yeah. that we can call God Abba, Abba. Father. My goodness, Abba. It's, it's confidence. Mm. Abba, Abba. I hope, I hope all of you now have just seen that. That when we call God our Abba Father, we're not just giving Him those what those cliche. He's truly been yeah. a good, yeah. good Father yeah. to us. Yeah. All right, fact number three. This is quite emotional because his father died while he was writing his final year exams in the secondary school. Wow. wow. That is so disheartening. I remember through when my dad passed on and, um, you know, I was going on air I'm that sorry day. About that. Oh, thank you. I was going on air that day and I just heard it and I had to gather all the courage. I can imagine writing your final year exams. You don't know what it means to lose a very close person into your life. And so um, shout out to all the people still going on and on. Even though you don't have a father or a mother, you are doing well. Absolutely. Just stand there. Even the scripture says, if your father and your mother forsake you, said, I, the Lord, will never leave you nor forsake you. And look at who daddy is today. That's why he lost his father. He never, he kept it. Yes. He kept that faith on. I'm yes. sure his father in heaven will look at him today and say, that's my son. Uh -huh. That's my son. Make him proud all the yes, way. Yes, but speaking to the sacrifice, you know, we spoke about one of the facts that we pointed at yesterday was that Adigio's father sold his only good mm. to send him to school. Mm. You know how painful it must have been for him not to have seen him like in that Blossom. face or in that space. But it's beautiful that we still enjoy these sacrifices from our parents. Mm. And we must take care of them whilst they are still here. Yeah. We must make sure that we make them proud. So if you are at loggerheads with your parents or mm. something and you are out there, it's time to forgive. It's yes. time to go back. It's time to amend that relationship. Enjoy them, bless them while they are still here. Mm. Yes. And also pick up your calls. If you're yet, uh, pick up your phone, pardon me. If you're yet to speak to your parents, you know, we have some people that they are yet to call their parents this year. Some people, and you don't understand what the scripture says. It said, honor your father and yes. your mother so that your days may be long on earth. Yes, we know they are our parents. They are human. They may want to just, you know, they are, they are, they are flesh and blood. I even heard a sermon here yeah, that don't do it because of them. Mm. Do it because God has commanded it. Mm. So if you want to pray to God and you've not obeyed his commandments, you have no right standing. Mm. So go ahead, like Sabrina said, pick up your phone. Mm. Put that phone call through. You don't mm. know what blessing you can be unleashing on your yes, life. Yes, that's amazing. All right, we have you, Ashaya. So Fact number four. 
a fee way, a fee way. So our father, Pastor Ia, e. is not just a man of God. He's also a brilliant man. This next fact says that Pastor Adeboye won the best student prize in secondary school. Wow. I can only imagine him walking across that stage wow. when they call his name. Wow. And despite he lost his dad. Despite the hardship. Yes. You know, we talked about him not even having shoes yes. for a very long time. Yes. I'm sure he just... Yeah, he lost his dad and he still won the best student prize. That's, yes. that's amazing. It's just an encouragement to someone out there that is going through things. The Bible says, weeping may endure for the yes. night, but joy cometh Comes in the morning. morning. Even God says that we should, that David encouraged himself. You know what happened? A Ziklag with David, had, they took everything, they killed people. David was disheartened, but in all of this, he encouraged himself and he became one of the most wonderful kings that Israel... I, I, for me, it was the most wonderful king. I, because I, yeah. we are still enjoying sure mercies of David. Yeah. Can you imagine? Wow. Like, I'm sure that that face in his life, when it looked like everything had ended, God just wanted to bring something beautiful out of it. Out of it. Scripture says that behind the scenes, mm. he's working everything out for our good. Hallelujah. Can you imagine? If he hadn't encouraged himself, he would not have known to chase. And then when he chased, he, 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 he overtook and, and he recovered, recovered everything. Yes. And that's it. So whatever you're going through, it's time for you to chase, to look at those things that are injuring you. Just forge ahead because the sky is just the beginning of your success. All right, the next one. This is, today is quite an emotional yes, day I here on the fact of that Geo. Wow. Shout out to the people that, that actually did this, you know. They tried with this. Yesterday was on Monday, sorry, on Sunday was Jivey, Jivey. Yesterday was Jivey. Was just Jivey. Jivey. <laughs> Today is Jiveyest. Okay. So the next fact number five is Pastor Adeboye borrowed the shoes and trousers he wore to his school's prize given day. Wow. Do you know, as of today, if daddy wants to give out one million shoes, he can? Shout out to my church, wow. LSC. Um, the, bridge. the Bridge. Amazing. On Sunday, Daddy Gio gave 80 shoes out wow. during our Light Up Ikeja. Wow. So you can imagine that man must have such an avalanche of shoes I in his house. I can imagine. So... Another thing that, that got to me about this particular fact is those people that God uses for you on your journey. Mm. You can imagine that you could walk up to someone and ask for shoes and trousers. I'm sure you can never forget that person At all. in his life. He cannot write his story without writing that person. So you don't know who God might be used, wants to use you for in this season, in this dispensation. Yes. Do not withhold those things. Mm. Allow God to use you for people. Mm. He has given you those things for you to be a source of blessing. Let blessings stem from you. Hallelujah. And don't forget that. Looking, at, looking down on people, it's not an option. You may be down today and be up tomorrow. Your gates man that you're looking down on may just be your savior tomorrow. It's important for you to place a priority on everybody you meet because there is a drop of success in every human. Um, I had a story of a, a man that, that uh, the, 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 he, the, the boss actually sent the driver's children to school wow. abroad. And so wow, abroad, abroad, and the man has served him for 15 years. And so he, in the space of it, he sent his two children abroad, his own children. They didn't school abroad though. But he said he had this intuition that sent these children abroad. And one thing happened, I think he lost everything when he, he had a stroke. And you know, money is like the wind, like the so, like they say, but if you're in Christ, you have everything. Mm -hmm. And so he passed on and his children, never made like they didn't get to that level while this man's children his driver's children became somebody important they became children of um, influence abroad and so they traveled abroad and one of the days so they met the boss and the boss happened to be the driver's son and so they're like um can you tell us your name and he said ah, your your father said mm. yes ah is your father that placed me where i am oh my today and they said immediately, he said, no, you can't be this way. If oh your father goodness. could send us abroad and didn't send his children, maybe, you know all those fathers that want their children, just be around me, be I don't around want to. Me, I understand. And do you know that it's his driver's son that helped the, 
the boss's son. Oh my God. So it's important for you not to look down on anybody. God has created all distinct. We are distinct in every way. Your house help that your matri team may just want be the one to help your children mm -hmm. tomorrow. Treat everyone with respect because it's a respect is reciprocal. Yes. All right. Yes. So the next one, Shia. The next fact. Fact number six. While in school at the University of Nigeria, Unsuka, he was a member of the volleyball team. Wow. So our father, Pastor Ie Adeboye, is not just a preacher of love. Ah. He's not just a man of God. He's also an athletic man. Yes. You can't you see him? He's built that way. You know, at his age, he still looks very, he looks, of course, I, I, I know that he walks around the camp like every other day. You know, at his age, and you are here, just walk one kilometer. I am tired, Sabrina, I'm talking to you. I was you know, Sabrina, I'm talking to Sabrina, actually. <laughs> actually, Sabrina, it's you that I'm talking to. You know, I don't like walking. I'm serious. But the sun, we can't really blame ourselves. <laughs> the sun these days, it's like the solar system, something's happening. It's like they open uh, the windows of sun. <laughs> Like someone went to had more firewood, like, I don't burn, understand. let it burn, let but. it burn. <laughs> I was private to, um, to one gist like that somewhere, one corridor somewhere. Mm. And then it was like Daddy Gio was um, at a meeting with the alumni of the school that he had attended. And then amongst those people that were there, of course, you know, they would most likely be aged now. Mm. Some might not even be as old as it. Mm. Like he was still standing tall. I'm telling you, like his age. people around him were like, ah, this what's man, happening? What's happening here? Hey. The glory of the Lord. But do you know it's the grace of God that makes a huge difference in our lives. So for those of you that are yet to give your life to Christ, you know, you'll be looking at one 30 year old, you think she's 40. Or you see a 50 year old and you think they are 60. I'm not saying that it's not everything. But you know it's the grace of God and the glory of God that makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible says, those that wait upon him, he shall renew, shall renew their, their strength. strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not faint. That is the fulfillment of that expression of the scripture that is coming into manifestation in our Father in the Lord. And that's it. And the waiting is fasting. Fasting. And when you eat, like Daddy Joe, they've, they've told us about Daddy Joe, when you eat, you eat healthy. Mm -hmm. you, I've heard from some of his sermons, he doesn't eat beyond a certain time. Mm -hmm. There's a reason for that. You might look at those things and they might look difficult. Mm -hmm. But if you make your now work, mm -hmm. your future is going to work better. That's, that's just how it is. Absolutely. That's just how it some is. Some people is day 43 of RCCG fasting and they are yet to even do, <laughs> do my, one. My, my brothers people, and my sisters. People, I know young people that have not even done one. Ah. The next thing, I, I'm weak. <laughs> I'm, I I can't. I can't do without food. It's not their food. This food, eh? <laughs> this food, my brother and my sister, if you're a foodie like me. <laughs> but you see, he said something through, to, through one of the sermons I was listening to. He said, during the Feast of Esther, he said something. He said, don't allow your stomach to control you. Hmm. Control your stomach. Because if you allow your stomach to control you, you'll be eating anyhow. And before you know it, it's showing on, on, on you. So when you fast, actually, I've heard this, that when you fast, there are cells. Yes, you allow them to rejuvenate. Mm. That, that's what happens. Because if, if you keep eating, it's like mm -hmm. you're you are working the old ones over and over and over. But when you fast, you allow your body to recalibrate. Mm -hmm. You allow the excess fat. Because, you know, when you take fat and oil and all of that, it just goes somewhere to store. It just stays there. It doesn't do anything. It's mm. not like carbohydrates or mm. like protein that works whilst you are And drink your water and mind your business. My <laughs> As he was saying, I, I actually drank my water to mind my let's, business. Let's drink our water. Please drink our water. Water is life. Learn to take how many gallons of water? Yeah, so the advice that you take like five liters. Ah, this is my first water to do. Five liters. That's like 10 sachets of water. Oh, wow. Yes. That's amazing. All right. So take some water and mind your business. Woo -woo. All right. So we'll soon be going into the social media segment. And uh, get ready. Please send your messages. Send your messages. Hashtag E-A-A-A-T on all our social media platforms. On Facebook, at Dove Television. Like us, Dove Television television tweet at dove tv with your name of course it's going to show your name and of course right now we're on instagram so if you want to send in all your messages please do that um i will try as much as possible to go on my instagram live and check all your messages please put all your messages and of course you want to repeat or re-watch this program just like us on uh, um, youtube 
at Dove Television. Dove Television, reaching to the world at large. Hallelujah. Glory. All right. So the seventh fact, um, this is number seven fact. All right. Pastor Adeboye was once a boxer. <laughs> Don't, don't, it's, the, it's, don't worry. It's, it's always very hard to reconcile that. Right. Uh, you see the gentleman, gentle giant, just going. And I then mean, forgetting one of the facts yesterday, Tiger. Tiger, one, one Sabrina, blow, seven so many apples. surprises from this fact. <laughs> I, I hope you are learning. I hope you are getting something. Oh, my God. I know people abroad will say, what are these children? So one blow is seven die, is what I meant. You know, <laughs> Nigeria, there's this PG that says, one blow, seven apples. <laughs> Sabrina is teaching me. She's teaching ah, me some things. So one blow of the tiger is seven faints. You but, know. But, but to reconcile that, yeah. Have you seen that the on the prayer walk? Mm -hmm. The way he walks. My goodness. He walks. He's like like a sprinter. Ah, he just hey, goes on. I'm like with that. We are young, safe. Shayo, <laughs> Shayo, don't break this table. Did we still have our our our, our mug of water? <laughs> Or this place, but that's so true. And there's, there's still. I, I saw one of the gloves at the Open Heavens Galleria. One of the beautiful thing about the gloves is, is big. That Gio's hand is actually big, and it's one of those places you need to visit. Please, if you're coming for the marathon praise or for the celebration of the special legal service that will be starting up this next week, just go to the Open Heavens Gallery and see things for yourself. He was once a boxer and he's there. All his trophies are there that he won in school, the prize given, um, they the best students, and of course the Instacart. We'll be bringing all of this fact to you here on Dove Television. So, Pastor Adaboye was once a, a boxer. boxer. What are you waiting for? How many of you do you have an extracurriculum activity that you do? Okay, other than sing, what else do I do? Yeah, so let me tell you something. I'm not even so this guy needs to sell his market. <laughs> Have you which had market? Shayo sing Aww. before. He's such a great music minister. This guy sings and the glory of God radiates. Mm. I've been on this ministration severally and Shayo uh, and don't be humble, my brother. Don't, don't let this really put your head up like a giant that Sabrina. you are. You know, it's it's, it's like Daddy Gio. When mommy is when that is uh, you, you've, you've eulogizing mommy, about him, mommy will be, be like mommy this. will be writing. Yeah, I always like, say, what is mommy right? <laughs> yes, mommy does that too, but that is also is funny. Ah. When they are talking about that, you now like you now do is tambourine like, like this. Like this, like this. You shake it, yeah. but that is humility. Maybe the most, we just yeah, wave and all of but that's humility. Beautiful, but yeah, beautiful just spirit. just to let you know, you are a wonderful man and you're doing greater works. Don't allow the things of this world to take you away from the presence this of God. This is like the second time I'm hearing this this week. God, Please. what are you saying? God, it's I'm saying, stayed on you. I'm, 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 you, are, you are my only option. Hallelujah. You are yeah. my only option. There's I'm nobody else. You know, there's a trend that says it's only God though, and God alone. Yes. For those of you that have something, we, we don't have anything. No. Is nothing this Jesus' life? In him, in him we live, move, and have our being. Hallelujah. There's nothing out there. Yes. Nothing that the world has yes. to offer. Yes, glory be to God. All Hallelujah. right, so on that note, we will quickly go on a break because shortly the social media segment will be going live. And of course, we have our amazing hostess, Jerry Dope. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Break is still a peep into Pastor E.A. Adeboe's li um, life with facts that you don't even have an idea about. Or you just think of this one, that one that daddy is saying on the altar. And you don't even have a glimpse of it. But here we have it and we are live. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to read all your comments on all our social media platforms. And, of course, we have our beautiful hostess. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Shayo, you want to do the Yes, I want to do the honor. Oh, yeah. She's an Amazon, right. a child of God. Right. Yeah. Please make welcome, mm -hmm. Iyanu. Hey, Iyanu, how are <laughs> you doing you today? Well. You guys look awesome Thank today. you. Right. Thank um, you. Shayo, you mentioned in one of the um, facts about Daddy that Daddy won an award in school, in secondary school. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you, I also won... A prize award when I was in secondary school. So really? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Don't intimidate us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to win today. Played, I actually played the short foot when I was in secondary school. Oh, wow. Like, yeah. And also volleyball too. I played volleyball during my NYC um, orientation camp. Wow. And, I, and our platoon for our platoon we came second. So wow. we're quite athletic now. We told people now. What do you ah, expect? God, though. Oh, uh, where you were sharing this hat? <laughs> where was Sabrina? Sabrina, Sabrina you're creating long hair now. Okay, okay, okay. That's true. You're creating long hair. Another one, another one. Anyway, thank you. Yanu. Hello, hello. It's me, Iyanu Akinda. I mean, I'm here again to take in your messages like I always do on all social media platforms. And this is day three. Well, day one and two on the social media platform, we sent out a question say a word of prayer to Pastor E.A. Adeboye. And today's day three. And for those of you that are just joining us today, don't worry, you're not, it's not too late. So you can catch up from now on. So day three, the question we put out there is, what makes Pastor E.A. Adeboye unique to you? Well, before we go into the social media segment to start reading the post and tweets, well, let me tell you about, let me tell you like how unique he is. Well, um, for those of you that have met him, well, I've met him before. So uh, his uniqueness, let me just say, is unspeakable. Like that's the way I've just described it. His uniqueness is just unspeakable. Well, meeting him, you know, when you go and meet him, you know, all your gra 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 will just calm down. You just walk like this. When you see him, when you're having a conversation with him, you'll be like, yes, sir. You know that phonetics, you, you can see the way these children were giving those phonetics and all that stuff. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, sir. Preach, pastor. That kind of stuff. But when you now go outside, you're like, ah. Oh, my name be that. Maybe just cool eh? Anyways, let's go straight to our first platform for today, and that is um, Facebook. Well, this is from Sam, along with Femi Jr., and he's saying um, what makes Pastor E.A. Adebayo unique to him is his humility. Yes, that is just so humble. Like, in every, even, even with the way he works, he's humble. Like, you know, he works gradually. Like, he graces us with his presence. Anyways, on still on our Facebook platform, this is Tolu Olaposi Olashibike. He's saying, um, someone said you live from heaven. I, I agree with that. You are a gift to my generation. Well, he has been a gift to so many generations and more generations to come. This is from the light great Chidol. And he's saying everything about him is physics. And um, everything about him is physics. That is still at the age of 80. You can still see the way that he stands. Like, it doesn't even look like he's 80. It it's not even bending at all. Like, 80 years old. How come? Some of us are already doing, my back is spinning me. This is spinning me. No, no, no. No. So this is also from Nina Igina. And he's saying, it's calmness, humility, humility preaching of holiness and obedience to God at all times. Happy birthday, Daddy, a father to all of us. Um, next is, still on Facebook, we have Olashupo Benjamin. Persistence and perseverance in Christ's clarion call. So winning and very disciplined. No single scandal sins. Okay, abundance, grace of God, endowment. Church planters, he understands the secret of getting wealth. Giver, he is, obe he, he, he is obedient. He's an obedient man of God. And this is from Charles Edward. Humility and calmness. Yes, we can like we can go on and on to talk about how Daddy Gio is so like humble and is so calm. Even with conversations with him, he's still calm. He talks to you like, okay, even when you say, let somebody shout hallelujah. You say you feel it. You say hallelujah. Anyway, still on our Facebook platform, we have NC Mutsuku is saying, humble daddy, the grace and anointing is out of this world. Happy 80th birthday, Daddy Gio, in advance. God's blessing and, age, and aging gracefully with perfect health and strength in Jesus' name. Amen to that. I'm um, still on our Facebook again. Um, this is from Isaiah Oladipupo. He loves righteousness more than anything. Sir, you will end well in Jesus' name. Happy birthday in advance, sir. Okay, um, this is coming from Gabriel Lawrence. I will drop a few here. Wisdom in dealing with both national and religious issues. The way I use real life events and storytelling to address them. And simplicity, humility, and calmness. 
almost everybody's talking about how humility, how humble he is and his calmness. Like, you can go on and on to talk about it. Well, we're going to our next social media platform, and that is on Twitter. This is from Self Love. And it's saying, the most humble father in the Lord I know. May God continue to bless and strengthen you more and more in Jesus' name. Amen. Even to the young ones, said that Jesus was like, like the way he even greets the younger ones, the children, like he bends down to greet them. How are you that you're like this now? They've not even given you, they've not given you a position. You're doing like this, like this. I better calm down now. Ah, don't worry. And still on Twitter, we have Omolara O. And it's saying, that is humility. And he is so consistent. Watched an old video of his message and the quality of it then and now. It is awesome. God bless you, Daddy. As your days are so shall you strength be. I celebrate Jesus in your life. We all do. Amen to that. This is from Praise Addict One. And it's saying, I love Daddy's passion for evangelism. Yes, we all do. And still on Twitter, we have Ade, Ade, Ade Dukon Eji Oludumare saying, That is humility and his agility. He can stand on the pupil for almost five hours preaching without being tired. This, this can only be divine. Yes, it's not by um, his mind, but by God's strength in his life. Um, we're still on, still on Twitter. We have Nathan AI saying, it's humility and passion still. And this is from Steve, um, Stephen Oyekachi saying, that it interprets God's words to me is simplicity. Also still on Twitter, we have Michael Wilson saying, I admire that his drive to always surpass its previous record of success. Yes and yes. I'm um, heading to our last social media platform for today, and that is Instagram. Um, this is from wealth underscore Taiwo 340. It's humility, simplicity, consistency, and passion for soul winning. That is, have you guys seen the, um, the light of crusade that has been going on since the beginning of February? If you have not, where have you been? Like, we are trying to, it's trying to actually target 8 million souls. It'd be like saying you don't pass 8 million souls, though, because the way people are giving their life to Christ, I might not easy, you. And still, it's, with his age, 80 years old, he still attends every bit of it. Why haven't you even attended one? No, 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 that's, that's not it. Anyway, still on our Twitter, uh, um, still on our Instagram, we have our CCG praise team, and he's saying we love everything about him. There's nothing not to love about that day. Like, there's nothing not to love about Pastor E. Adeboe. Everything. You just even seeing himself. You're just like, ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You just love him from head to toe. It's just, let me say, perfect. That's the way I'm going to explain it. I'm um, still on it. We have um, Eric, Eric King's Devil Store saying, simplicity, humility, anointing is second to none. God bless you more, Daddy. Um, this is Divine De David saying, brand well that is a brand like <laughs> it's my brand everybody carries daddy like who's that who's your spiritual father pastor e. yeah, the boy. like i don't know about you but you know he's my spiritual father my mentor everything and they're about um still on still on instagram we have i am cassie bella is humble and exceptional it deals with criticism maturely i don't know if i've not really experienced or seen um daddy talk about you know um you know social affairs and everything but when he does he talks about it in a mature way. He said, you'll be like, okay, ah. you be like, say not true. We just, we could just you know, flow with the whole thing like that. But then again, very maturely. Um, Living Waters 4-1, unique in everything. Um, Ike, um, Ike Kola, Kola Bello says, holiness. And this is the real neural keys. His ability to stay in Christ after all these years of temptation and trials. Yes, yes, yes. Some of us, small temptation like this, eh? even this fasting that we're already doing, if you heard, you heard what Sabrina and Shia said, so more fasting like this, ah, don't let your stomach control, um, control your mouth too. Small temptation. Do you know many times our father fast in a year? None of us, we never even reached that level, say. Ah, for me, say, if I, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm talking for love, some of us, Shia, but we never reached that level. Anyways, um, this is still, we're still on our Instagram platform. This is Gab Grace Concept. He's saying he's so unique, his level of holiness, the way he used to fast from, I see, I see they talk about fasting. The way he fast from January to March, all this time is everything to me far. The last time I saw him at the University of Ibadan, he was old and I could see the inner strength of God. Happy birthday in advance, daddy. See, we talked about fasting just now. Fasting, none of you have even fasted. Are you even fasting now? Are you still, are you doing the, um, the, um, the 40 days fasting that is going on? 
None of you have none of you is even doing it. Anyway, this is next level fit 20. Daddy, thank you for nourishing our spiritual journey. Happy birthday to you, sir. And this is Lily White saying he always stays, he always says things the way it should be, never being biased. Daddy also has a genuine love for all his children. If you have seen from the post about the children, Daddy will love you, Grandpa Gio. Like we are plenty. All of us, all these children say, I don't know if daddy knows, like, can count how many, how much, like, how many we are. Because as for me, I'm number one. I don't know about you guys, but that, that, that is it. Um, I think, um, anyways, that is it for today on our social media segment. I hope to see you guys next time. Stay tuned and please do not forget, like I keep saying, on every social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter, to continue using the hashtag. Hashtag E A A A T on every social media platform. I'm going to write here again, like you know, like you sent me the message, like I'm reading it right now. I'm going to write here again to read out your messages. I hope to see you guys next time. Over to you, Shio and Sabrina. Come on, you are amazing, girl. Thank you so much for that uh, beautiful time out, and you look amazing. Ah ah, hey, all of us, grandma, grandpa, daddy, mommy. Um, Adeboye. Anyways, we celebrating. We are here celebrating an icon worth emulating. We'll be right back after this break. Stay tuned. So you're welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that social media segment. I noticed that for some of us on Facebook, we did not spell out the hashtag correctly. The hashtag is hashtag E-A-A-80, -A not E-E-A-80, E-A-A-80. -A -A We'd love to take your messages. So now we're going on with our facts. I hope you've been enjoying it so far. The next fact, which is fact eight. I love this fact personally because it resonates with me. And it's that Pastor Adeboye once taught in a local school before gaining an admission into the University of Nigeria, wow. Unsuka. Wow. I know that for many of you out there, between SSC and university, tertiary institution, whichever one you went to, Polytechnic or university, because you don't want to stay at home or stay idle, you take up a teaching job yeah. and you impact students. Did, yeah. you, did you do anything like oh, that? Oh, no. I didn't. So I did. From my secondary school, I remember it was just straight to university for me. Wow. And um, I'm grateful to God. You see, for everybody, everybody has, um, how do I call it? A different journey. A different journey. Mm -hmm. For all the journeys, don't think you are important than the other person. That's the truth. So I'm forever grateful for everything that I own. But I also wish that I had a time to, <laughs> how do I call it? You know that time mm -hmm. that yes, you like, get like to. Like a breather. Yeah. To understand but yourself. I didn't. I didn't. I just, from there, straight to the university. But all glory be to yes, God. All, God is good. He knows, yeah. he knows how to relate yeah. with everyone. Else. That's why you are teaching me like this now. You are my <laughs> teacher. Now I see where this teaching thing is coming from <laughs> anyways shout out to you shaya i won't stop celebrating you all I right celebrate you to Sabrina. thank you so much the ninth fact Woo! <laughs> but so adeboye started off in the redeemed christian church of god as the interpreter for pa akindayomi the founder of the redeemed christian church of god so daddy is versatile Woo! I've listened to some of those sermons. If you hear that he speak Yoruba, wow. you will not believe that he's the one. No wonder the divine panegyrics that they do at the Holy Ghost, um, sorry, the, the special convention, you know, he just gives those deep, deep, yes, deep, Yes, he's deep. smooth. His ah. Yoruba is smooth and beautiful. And it has a uniqueness to it. Yes. You know, I, God just graced the man, yeah? I, 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 can't, I can't imagine what God was thinking when, when he was he created. creating him. Hey, every drop. Maybe we should even bring something uh, tomorrow. Those let's big, let's big, drink water. No, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's drink water. And I want to say something. Mm. Maybe tomorrow we'll bring a big drop. Yeah. How they used to pour. How God created that did you? Humility. 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 Drum roll. <laughs> Grace. Uh, dr drum. Anointing. Drum. <laughs> 
everything will be pouring because he's such a bundle of everything. I remember there was a time too that the interpreter was not interpreting well. Daddy would say, this one, I'm like, ah. <laughs> Yes, he, wants, he always wants to be exact. Yeah. And that's how language is. You have to be exact to pass out the right message. Mm. Yes. Amazing. All right, the tenth one, Shaya. Yes, the tenth one. And the... Pardon me. I was too excited. Ah, I know, right? The tenth one and the last one for today is Pastor Adeboye became the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in 1981. Wow, 1981. That's almost. Um, is you it wanna go? Yes, I think that's 39 years. No, it's more than. It's more than. Yes. 1980 plus 2022. You know, it's 41 years. Actually. 41. Yes. Wow. Wow. For 41 good years. 41 good years. He's been the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of you know, God. Somebody wrote something profound during the social media segment, and mm. it was like. Till date, Daddy Chiu has no scandal. Hmm, of course. That's very rare. Hmm. That's for a human being. Let's leave the being a man of God aside hmm. now. But for a human being to not have a scandal, and shout out to Mommy Jiu, hmm. she's a wonderful covering. Hmm. She's, because we know that these agents of darkness are always on, All the, these... on, the, on hmm. the loose. They oh would my want God. to bring the man down. But for a man to stay standing, it takes a level of humility and obedience. Because if you are not able, even humble, you cannot obey. You cannot obey. It says, scripture says that Jesus was humble enough to obey God, even to death. Hmm. That's the kind of obedience and humility that Daddy Gio has. Hmm. And, and really, there's no way we celebrate Daddy Gio without not celebrating mommy. Mommy for Lu Adeboye. Yes. The mommy of the mommies. You know, during the Feast of Esther, people were just saying, this is the mommy of the mommies. Mommy, we celebrate you. Because really, without your prayers, you know, like they say, behind every successful man, there is a woman that is really backing. There is a wonderful There's woman. There's a wonderful woman. You are, you are wonderful. You are excellent. You are caring. You are just a covering to our daddy and there's been no scandal to so God be the glory, glory for all hallelujah. and thank you mommy for being so supportive I can imagine there are times that mommy will like hey who has sent me to this ridiculous church of God right yes because I know it, it can be no, it can be overwhelming mm. do you see during those conventions and all of that of course we know that daddy Jay stayed in his office or maybe doing some inspections but you see mommy Jay literally everywhere mm. and it's not like she's not fasting you mm. can actually see that she's also doing a lot of spiritual exercise behind the scenes. But you would see her in this place. There was one particular one that Daddy Gio was like, we should celebrate Mommy Gio especially. Yeah. Because even places where he can go, he sends her. It's mm. like she does a lot of work. She's at the kitchen. Now She's we can making see. sure that the guests ah. are comfortable and all of that. That's, it can only take grace and, and, and commitment yes, and love. and love. And do you know one beautiful thing about Mommy Gio is you can never visit Mommy Gio and go empty-handed. We said it yesterday. Ah. We are saying it again. We are saying it again. Thank you for the wonderful wow. guests. Oh, <laughs> mommy is such a giver, and we see that. A personal experience, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'd gone on to minister at um, the children's Christmas party, and then I, I went to say hi to Mom Joe, my son. He's a very cute baby, by the way. Really? Of course and not. Mom, <laughs> I beg, I beg. Stop, stop doing all this. Me too, my own son will yes, be cute. Yes, your son will be cute. Hi! Then my daughter now carry my hair. Your hair and your teeth. Your <laughs> teeth. I'm, I'm talking about your teeth. What about my height? Seat. My height. I don't know about the height. <laughs> I cover my face. <laughs> my God will share my enemies. And Mommy Chi all of a sudden just looked behind and told the person with her to just give my baby something. Wow. God, it was so special to us. Wow. And you know, it just showed that she wasn't even faking it. Mm. That's just who she is. Yeah. That's, and God will continue to bless you. Amen. Mom Amen. And so we're really celebrating our father and also our mother because there is no birthday celebration. It's not, not a co- uh, co-celebrant. Celebrant. <laughs> our mommy is the co-celebrant, even as we celebrate our father, just to know that the work of God has been moving on to the glory of God for the past 41 years. He's been the RCCG general of us. Yeah. You know, for some people, they will hand over to them and it's nothing. But to daddy, it has been from, has glory, been from glory to, to glory. glory. And to God be the glory. And daddy, we really, really celebrate you. And to all our social media uh, um, um, how do we call commenters. it? Commenters and viewers all over. We're saying thank you. We really appreciate you. But not to worry. For those of you, I know you're enjoying this program. Hey! But we'll be here again by the grace of God tomorrow because this today is day three. Yes. Tomorrow, day four. Um, Thursday, day five. Saturday, day six. Sunday, Sunday day seven. 
No, that's it. It's not the confuse. You don't confuse also, my brother. <laughs> it's like today we don't even. Do. But anyway, sha, we shall be here again yeah. for the next fact By because God's we grace. have eighty facts to give you all about Daddy Gio, and we really want to celebrate um, the person that came up with this wonderful idea. God bless you in Jesus' name. To all Amen. the cameramen, to everyone that made this a success, we're saying thank you. And to all our viewers here on Dove Television, thank you all so much. We pray that the good Lord will bless you and keep on the comments coming on all the social media platforms, Facebook at Dove Television, tweet at Dove TV, watch us live on Instagram and drop all your comments. Like us on Instagram at Dove TV and also subscribe to us on YouTube. And don't forget to download the OH Prime TV app on all your phones and you are going to go because it's showing live on Dove TV Entertainment on OH Prime TV. To all our viewers, we're saying thank you so much. Thank you for joining us into this program. A peep into Daddy Gio. All right, so we have said it all. Low. Drink water and mind your yes, business. Let's, let's cheers and drink water. Again. All right, see you all tomorrow. God bless you. My name is Sabrina Osma. And I am Ulusha Yorotili. God bless Bye. you. Bye. Bye.